machines are fully automatic coffee, and espresso makers with built-in coffee grinders that make coffee drinks with the push of a button. Coffee is ground fresh, tamped perfectly, brewed, and dispensed in seconds. With many super automatic espresso machines, you can set your preferred coffee strength, drink volume, temperature, and more. The milk frother on these espresso machines are automatic as well, letting you easily make cappuccinos, lattes, and macchiatos whenever you like. Our Top 10 Best Super Automatic Espresso Machine 2024 Let's face it, even the most budget-friendly super automatic espresso machine requires a substantial financial outlay. The long and the short of it is that these things ain't cheap. With that in mind, you're probably hesitant to commit to any one machine for fear of making the wrong decision. Well, don't worry, everything you need to know before making a purchase can be found later in this guide. To get the ball rolling, in this video I've assembled a top 5 list of my favorite machines to get you started on the right track. Number 1. Gaggia Babila Espresso Machine Before embarking on this Gaggia Babila review, I'll admit that I didn't know much about the machine at all. As you might have noticed, I've been more than pleasantly surprised by what I've seen. In fact, there's still enough space in my kitchen for one more super automatic espresso maker. So, perhaps I'll have to order the Gaggia Babila and put it through its paces. I haven't seen many automatic coffee makers that offer as much versatility in espresso preparation as the Gaggia Babila. It's obvious that the Italian manufacturer has put a lot of thought into this machine. They are aiming to seduce those who want the freedom to experiment with a variety of settings. Gaggia Babila, Espresso Quality It's important to get the right balance for your tastes, so be prepared to adjust a few settings to get your favorite shot of espresso. I found that setting the coffee strength to 3 out of 5 and upping the water temperature to the hot setting worked for me. That produced a shot of espresso at 65 degrees Celsius, the default temperature setting was a little cold at 55 degrees Celsius. Once dispensed, the crema was a nice color, but a little on the frothy side, bubbling down slightly quicker than I'd expect. An oilier consistency is what I look for, for perfection. The taste of the espresso was pretty good. A touch on the bitter side, the coffee's bold flavor was preserved, although a little subtlety was lost. Still, overall, the Gaggia Babila produced a decent shot of espresso quickly. Gaggia Babila, milk-based drink quality. Getting the milk carafe in place, the Babila can automatically steam and pour milk. I went with a cappuccino to see how good the coffee machine was. For taller cups, the dispensing spout can be removed entirely. My first attempt was a bit of disaster, with my cappuccino cup overflowing, I had to adjust the drink volume in the menus, using the fiddly menus. Once I had the amount right, the result was good but not outstanding. Rather than neat microfoam, the milk was too frothy with bigger bubbles in it. Taste remains good, but I've seen bean-to-cup machines that are more capable than this one. Number 2. Best Value, Philips Seco Zelsus Super Automatic Espresso Machine. The new Zelsus definitely sets the bar for its price point, and even punches up in ways the previous model did not. While elements of the machine on their own are relatively standard, the full package is an incredible proposition. The Hygiesteam system in particular, for its ease of cleaning and fantastic milk, is a great reason to buy. We definitely recommend at least trying the coffee and milk out of this machine beside others in its price range to see the difference for yourself. For starters, a slim design and stainless steel accents lend the Zelsus the air of a high-quality, well-conceived device. Furthermore, the machine's huge, glossy user interface is a thing of beauty. What's especially cool is the coffee equalizer, which allows you to dial in your drink settings via a row of sliders. In terms of performance, I can't find fault with the ceramic burr grinder. Replete with 12 adjustment settings, Seiko's grinder is quiet and consistent. Add in the fact that you've got six user profiles and an automatic milk system, and it's clear the Zelsus can easily hold its own next to Deloney and Jura machines. The coffee out of the Zelsus is definitely on par with other machines at its price point. It won't blow your mind, but it should please any coffee drinker who's used to Super Auto Espresso. The taste also lets the unique notes of the coffee through better than cheaper models, a great reason to consider an upgrade. All of that said, nothing beats manually dialing in and pulling a shot from a semi-auto or lever-driven machine, but the Zelsus tries its best and matches the performance of its peers. But Super Autos aren't just about the coffee. The Zelsus features some of the best milk texturing and flavor of any Super Auto we've ever seen. 
This is often the hardest thing to get right on a machine like this. Recreating the delicate process of hand steaming milk is a huge challenge, and the Zelsus really knocks it out of the park here. The microfoam from this machine is even of a high enough quality to pour latte art, not something that can be said about most home superautos. This machine should be able to keep up with the demands of a family coffee drinkers as well. The Zelsus features a short warm up time and the ability to pump out several drinks in a row without stopping. Number 3. Deloni Dinamica Fully Automatic Coffee and Espresso Machine. The Deloni Dinamica Plus is eye wateringly expensive, but for the money, you get a fully automatic bean to cup coffee machine that produces barista style coffees at the touch of a button or via the app. It will require some experimentation to produce a hot drink to suit, but it's easy to customize and save your settings so you can create the perfect coffee every time. Firstly, with regard to flavor, it must be said that the flavor of your finished coffee depends on the coffee bean you use, grind size, strength selected, temperature, and the coffee to milk ratios, so can vary widely, and with this in mind, it's great that there are so many customizable settings. We found it easy to change settings, particularly on the app, but it took us a while and several attempts to get a coffee that was brewed exactly as we like it when ordering from the coffee shop. That said, once you get it right and save the settings, you can pour the perfect coffee every time at the touch of a button. An espresso took just 30 seconds to pour from first pressing the button and came out at 153 degrees Fahrenheit 67 degrees Celsius, which is slightly below the optimum of 195 degrees Fahrenheit 90 degrees Celsius and 205 degrees Fahrenheit 96 degrees Celsius. The default amount is 40 milliliters but this can easily be adjusted in the app in 5 milliliters increments. It had a well-rounded flavor that wasn't burnt or overly bitter, we had to play around with the grind size dial to get the crema right. But with the right adjustments, we produced a crema that was thick and reformed after a spoon of sugar was poured in. To brew a cappuccino, it took 1 minute 25 seconds from pressing the button to the end of pouring. The silky thick milk foam stays stable until the end of the drink and at 80 dB this was the loudest the coffee machine reached during our testing time. This is the equivalent of a truck traveling down the road at 40 miles per hour, but as the noise only lasts for a couple of minutes, we think this is acceptable. The automatic milk frother can produce a mug of hot frothy milk in just under a minute with a temperature of around 133 degrees Fahrenheit 56 degrees Celsius, the bubbles are thick and velvety and remain stable for the whole drink. And it works just as effectively with plant-based milk, we tried oat milk with great frothy results. We like having the ability to add ground coffee but when preparing decaf coffee, on a couple of occasions we found that it didn't recognize that we had already poured the ground coffee into the chute and prompted us to add it again. Daily cleaning is easy, it prompts you to turn the milk frother dial to clean after use, it also empties coffee grounds into the bin and rinses the coffee spout automatically. There is additional cleaning required of the water tank and milk frother periodically and when prompted the machine will need descaling using a Deloney descaler but this level of maintenance is standard for a coffee machine. Number 4. Mila New CM6360 Milk Perfection Automatic, Wi-Fi Coffee Maker and Espresso Machine Combo. In my opinion, the Mila CM6360 Milk Perfection perfectly encapsulates. While other manufacturers duke it out with high-profile slogans and bling, Mila simply keeps quietly releasing consistent, durable, and high-quality coffee makers like this one. Featuring Mila's customary boxy shape, the CM6360 also showcases the usual old-fashioned user interface. There's a text screen surrounded by buttons, which might be a disappointment to touchscreen lovers. However, I found the user interface to be refreshingly simple and easy to operate. There's a lesson in there somewhere. The Mila CM6360 offers plenty of customizable settings for espresso and produces some of the richest and most chocolatey coffee I've ever tasted. During my review, I was particularly impressed by the fine texture of the frothed milk, which was nice and hot thanks to the double frothing system. What's more, the double milk pipework makes it really convenient to rinse the circuit between coffee drinks. Number 5. Jura E4 Piano Black Automatic Coffee Machine. Some espresso machines are versatile enough to work for anyone, but I wouldn't consider the Jura E4 Coffee Machine to be one of them. If my Jura E4 Coffee Maker review has proved anything, it's that this machine is made for a specific type of home barista. If your dreams involve mountains of pillowy milk foam, this may not be the coffee machine for you. However, if you regularly forget about the existence of milk-based espresso drinks, the Jura E4 might be the right fit. It's not the cheapest fully automatic around, but with an impressive brewing unit, sophisticated grinder and more, 
it's capable of making great espresso. The Professional Aroma Grinder is really superb. It's the newest and top-of-the-line version from Jura which is a real selling point of the Jura E4. The grinder is whisper-quiet, is stepless, and produces incredible quality and consistency of coffee grounds. And, when the quality is this good, it would be a real waste to use pre-ground coffee. However, if the need for something different strikes, there is a pre-ground coffee shoot. This is standard across all the top Jura coffee machines and is a great feature if you want to use the occasional ground decaf coffee beans or if you're making coffee for someone who doesn't appreciate your amazing quality beans. Luckily for Jura, all the fancy tech acronyms actually do produce spectacular specialty coffees. It's why Jura remains the leader in coffee quality from super-automatic coffee machines. From the superb stepless grinder to the improved brewing unit with pre-infusion, every stage is carefully managed to get the best possible results. You don't need the finest grind with the max dosage to get a great coffee, a common issue with this type of espresso machine. So, you have lots of room to tailor your espresso. By the time you set your grind, DOS, and water volume you'll be enjoying rich, intense, flavorful espresso with the touch of a button. You can make Americano manually on the machine or automatically using the app though it's called Cafe Barista for some reason. There's no adjustable coffee temperature, but we don't really think you need it. The E4 is already calibrated to brew espresso at the optimum temperature and we generally find that machines with this feature only really work well on one setting anyway. For black coffee drinkers, the Jura E4 automatic coffee machine